Finn hears a noise. He hides behind Evelyn, just in case the thing's going to explode. Dancing raisins. For this experiment, you will need club soda, a jar, and raisins. Fill three quarters of your jar with club soda. Now we're gonna add a handful of raisins. Finn, you go first. Okay, Evelyn, add your raisins. And watch what happens. Watch as the raisins drop to the bottom of the jar, float to the top, and then back down again. You can even count how many raisins float to the top at the same time. The science of this experiment revolves around buoyancy. What is buoyancy? Buoyancy refers to the tendency of something to sink or float in the liquid. Can you change the buoyancy of something? Yes, you can. Initially, you observe that the raisins sunk to the bottom because they are heavier than the water. However, the soda has a gas in it, which you can see with the bubbles. The bubbles attach themselves to the surface of the raisin, which causes them to float to the top. When the bubbles pop, the raisin falls back down to the bottom of the jar. For this experiment, you'll need white vinegar, baking soda, a spray bottle, food coloring, cookie cutters, and a tray. Place your cookie cutters on a tray and spoon baking soda into each cookie cutter. Add a couple drops of food coloring into each cookie cutter. Using your bottle, syringe, or dropper full of vinegar, spray it over the baking soda and watch the reaction. This is a simple kids activity that also has a chemical reaction. When an acid and a base are mixed, they form a gas called carbon dioxide. Here the vinegar is the acid and the baking soda is the base an awesome and safe chemical reaction science experiment for the kids to try, right at home. Watch as the vinegar reacts with the baking soda. Next, re-remove the cookie cutters to see if any of them held their shape. Lastly, we used up the rest of the vinegar and watched as the colors mixed. For this experiment, you will need a balloon, a bottle, a funnel, food coloring, and vinegar. Using your funnel, fill a quarter of your bottle with vinegar. Place some baking soda inside your balloon. Add a few drops of food coloring to your balloon. Here's a few tips. Hold the top of your balloon so the bottle doesn't fall over. Stretch out the balloon before placing it on the bottle and make sure the seal is on tight. I don't even know what happened here. And examine your balloon for holes before placing it on the bottle. After several attempts, we finally got it right. 
now it's time for the little ones to give it a shot. The science behind this balloon and baking soda experiment is the chemical reaction between the base, which is the baking soda, and the acid, which is the vinegar. When the two ingredients mix together, it creates a gas, which is called carbon dioxide. As the gas tries to leave the container, it goes up into the balloon. And because it has nowhere else to go, it inflates the balloon. Don't stop.